So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to get this out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Tannehill hooking up with Reynolds for a Titan first. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. But it looked like the Titans were able to recover, and indeed, they will keep possession of the ball. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge, basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Tannehill, he'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that one going to come up short, low throw. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Now Tannehill. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Imani Hooker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Jones goes diving, and he's got it. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Jones. Touchdown, Titans. Julio Jones. His second touchdown of the night. And the Titans on just two plays have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. On the move to his left. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to Fick in to kick off following the touchdown. On the return, Isabella. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 
That one good for 37 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Murray now to throw. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. To throw on second and 10. Murray being chased out left. And that is incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. But now it'll be third down. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Flushed out right. Williams brings it in. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. To throw is Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. Touchdown! Chase Edmonds. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. They'll try and throw for it. They'll roll him out right. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Forced out to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. Now Tannehill sliding out of the pocket. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback rolling left and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. Throwing again on second and 10. Murray escaping the pressure right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Green once again the intended receiver. And it's third down. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Rolling to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. First down, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Murray. Rolling to his left. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. And a short return to the six-yard line. 
zone well in field goal range. You can't throw a pick there. And you know I want to give all the credit to the defenders, right? I mean, they made a play on the ball. But bottom line, you set up the situation perfectly. You've already got the field goal in the bag. You've got to make sure you take care of the football in that situation. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Play action. It's Tannehill. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Reynolds. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Powering forward. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. He'll buy some time right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. They started on the shadow of their own goal line, and boom, five plays later, they're in the red zone. Steps away. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target. And now it's second down. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Play number seven now coming up on the drive, third and five. They'll run it again with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are going to take the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. On the return, Isabella. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. Well, he was just trying to contain DeAndre Hopkins, and he got a little too close. And because of his ability to line up in different spots on the field and come at you from different angles, different guys have to cover him, and all of them have the same issue. How do you do it without interfering? In this case, it didn't get done. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cardinals have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to be sacked. They came after him. He couldn't get away. And this remains a two-point game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fields this way up at the 17. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Two-point game. They have the football. Their defense was able to do their job. Now can the offense just hold on here, Charles? And they better because after the job the defense did to give them the ball back with this lead, it's time for them to seal the deal. And he will score. Touchdown, 
Titan.